Hello everyone, it's Shannon here from Craft Ghetto. In today's video, we're going to take a close-up look at Waffle Flower's July 2018 release. Let's start by taking a quick look at all the new combos. This is the Bouquet Builder 2 combo. comes with the Bouquet Builder 2 stamp set and Bouquet Builder 2 matching die in the back. Next we have the Deck the Halls combo. comes with the Deck the Hall stamp set and the Deck the Hall matching die in the back. Next is the sketchbook combo, comes with the sketchbook stamp set and the sketchbook matching die in the back. And last but not least is the rainbow cheers combo, comes with the cheer stamp set, cheer matching die, and rainbow die in the back. Now let's take a close up look at the individual products in this release. This is the Bouquet Builder 2 stamp set. It is illustrated by Helen Dardick. It is a beautiful set. It's a large set. It's 5x7, so you have some really big flowers to make a big focal point on your card. This makes for very quick and easy card making. You also have the gorgeous matching dies that cut out all the flowers, and you have these beautiful sentiments in this set, perfect for just saying hello or well-wishing and even doing get well cards. First up is a card made by Sunshine. This is a gorgeous card. I love how she stamped the back with the sentiments in white on craft paper. It's just a beautiful, great way to make a background. And she watercolored the cornflower. Just beautiful. Next up is this stunning card by Nina. I love how she Copic colored these flowers. I love the little detail of the twine wrapped around the bouquet. And the sentiment embossed on vellum is gorgeous. Next is my card. I did some no line coloring for this card using Tombow dual brush pens. I really enjoyed coloring this. I love the vivid colors. These flowers are so fun to color. Next up is the Deck the Hall stamp set. This is illustrated by Flora Waycott. I love her folksy, whimsical style, and this set does not disappoint. It is a gorgeous set for building your Christmas scenes for your Christmas cards. You can have a lot of fun with all the images in this set. A really fun set. We also have the Deck the Halls matching die as well. This die set cuts out all the images that you see in the Deck the Hall stamp set even the tiny little pine sprigs. Again, great for scene building. Now let's check out the cards. First up is this beautiful card created by Nina. I love the scene she created with the Deck the Hall set. I love the energy and all the images. So fun. What a great Christmas card. Next is a card I created. I made an blended background, stamped the snowflakes from the Deck the Hall set to make the background, and used the kids, placed them on a mound so it looks like they're looking at the snowflakes or the stars. For this card, I created a frosted window using the A2 arched window die and some vellum. I sprinkled some white embossing powder to create that frosted look and stamped the snowflakes and embossed them with white embossing powder as well. On the inside, you have some more images from the Deck the Hall stamp set. I created a sweet little scene with that girl hugging her kitty, putting a star on top of the tree. Next up is the sketchbook stamp set. This was also illustrated by Flora Waycott. It's such a sweet little set, really great for all of us who love to draw and color, has a paintbrush, a pencil, an eraser, and then the sketchbook is filled with some things from your everyday life, so a really sweet set. Of course, there is the sketchbook matching die, which cuts out all the flowers and images that are on the sketchbook as well as the sketchbook itself. This really allows you to customize the sketchbook. You can remove the images in it and have a blank sketchbook which you'll see a couple cards that I did that for as well. Or you can leave them in there for a very simple card building. Here's some cards that Nina created. First up is this beautiful card. I really love how she colored in the sketchbook. Very loose. This one is Copic colored and she really did some beautiful color palette, just a really pretty card. And I adore this rainbow card that she created with the paint tube, just gorgeous. She has a video for this on the Waffle Flower website, part of the blog cop, so definitely check that out. Here's the card I created with some craft paper. I colored the images in with my Tombow dual brush pens. And it's a very simple card, but what a sweet little scene. And I did mask the sketchbook so I could customize the inside of it. And here's another card where I masked the sketchbook and I stamped the florals from the Bouquet Builder 2 stamp set on the inside. And 
I sandwiched together three of the the sketchbook pages to create a little book. I'll have a video for this in the coming weeks, so stay tuned and you can learn how I created this card as well. I again used my Tombow dual brush pens to color the flowers and placed it on an ink blended background. Next up is the Cheers stamp set. This is illustrated by Camel. It is a adorable little set. I love it. The cheer sentiment is simple but perfect, makes it great for lots of celebratory cards like birthday or congratulations. It also has the cheers matching die, which you see here cuts out the sentiment and the image. And then an additional die, this is the rainbow die. This comes with the combo, but you can also purchase this rainbow die separately. This is a gorgeous rainbow die. It has this beautiful little white space or open space that you can cut between the rings or stripes of the rainbow. It's a gorgeous die. Now let's take a look at some cards. This card was created by Sunshine. It's an A10 size. It's so fun. She really came up with a brilliant idea. She used the champagne pop die to create the champagne bottle and the champagne spray. And then she has this cute cat floating in the spray from the champagne bottle. Just brilliant. So fun. Also love how she put the cheers on dimension so she has some great dimension there as well. Such a fun card. Next up is this card I created with an alcohol ink background. I just used one alcohol ink color, Sailboat Blue, to create the background so it's very simple and easy to do. I Copic colored the kitty and the inner tube and then also foiled the sunglasses. I have a video for this card coming up next week so stay tuned to check that out. Here's a second card I created with the Cheers set and the rainbow die. I die cut the rainbow out of white cardstock and colored the rainbow stripes with my Copic markers, did a little fade, and um, then layered that on top of a background that I foiled over some transfer gel. A really Another really fun card. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this close-up look at Waffle Flowers July 2018 release. You can find lots more info on all the new stamps, dies, and combos over at waffleflowercrafts.com. Of course, you can always purchase these stamps and dies separately. You don't have to purchase them in a combo, but when you do get them in the combo, you save $2 and you get the awesome cloud storage package. Definitely head over there to check out the blog hop and all the promotions that are happening with this release. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.